conditional distribution of bivariate distribution. We have x and y, which are two discrete random variables with a joint probability mass function given by f of x, y is equals to 1 over 54, x plus y, x is 1, 2, 3, and y is 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 0 elsewhere. So we want to, we want to find a number of things from this. And the first one is we want to find y given x, that is the conditional distribution of y given x, and the definition of that is f of x, y, all over the f1 of x. So it is the joint distribution of x and y divided by the marginal distribution of x. So we already have f of x, y from the definition there, so we need to get f1 of x, which is basically summing uh, over y, the f of x, y. And our f of x, y is 1 over 54 x plus y. And this gives us 1 over 54 x plus y. A y is 1, y is 2, y is 3, and therefore we have the last one, y is 4. And when we combine all that, we'll get that f of 1x is equals to 1 over 54, 4x plus 10, and that will give us 2x will give us 2x plus 5 all over 27. And therefore, we can now get our f of y given x, which is f of xy, which is 1 over 54x plus y. And that we are going to divide with 1 over 27, 2x plus 5. And definitely uh, that will give rise to a good expression because this is 1 over 54 divide 1 over 27 which is 1 over 2 so it will be x plus y and then here we have 2 2x plus 5 and that is the conditional distribution of uh, y given x. And with that set of information, we can go ahead and find other variables. For example, probability of y is equals to 2 given x is equals to 1. It basically means you come here and uh, substitute the value of x as 1 and the value of y as 2. Then x is 1, 2 times 1, and then plus 5, which is 3 over 7 times 2 is 14. So the probability of y given y is equals 2 given x is equals to 1 is 2 over is 3 over 14. So that is for a discrete case. We want to go ahead and now look at another example whereby y is a continuous case where we let y and x have a joint probability density function, which is given by f of x, y is equals to 1 over 8 x, y. x lies between 0 and 2, and y lies between 1 and 3, and then 0 elsewhere. So we want to go ahead and do the same. Remember, we can get the joint of x and y, or y and x, like here we have the joint of x and y now we want to get the conditional of x given y and that will be f of x y over f of 2 of y and so we want to go ahead and get the f of 2i that is the marginal distribution of y when you have a joint case it's 1 over 8 so we are going to integrate over x x y dy which is uh, y over 8, uh, sorry, it's, uh, we are going to integrate 
x y with respect to x and this will give us y over 8 uh, x squared over 2 x between 0 and 2 this is 4 over 2 which is 2 times this that will be 1 over 4y or y over 4 and we know that uh, y will lie between 1 and 3 so the f2 of y will be given by that uh, case that you have there and with that set of information then we can go ahead and uh, be able to to perform other activities we can now find the f of x given y which is the joint distribution of both of them which is 1 over 8 x y then divide by y over 4 and this is the same as 1 over 8 x y times 4 over y by y 1 and 2 and this will give me x over 2. So the f of x y is very clear. The f of x given y we can comfortably see it's x over 2 and x lies between 0 and 2 and 0 elsewhere. And with that we can use it to solve other examples. For example of x given y is equals to y will be equals to the integral of x f of x given y dx and that will be equals to 0 to 2 x times x over 2 dx which is x squared over 2 which is a half x cubed over 3 0 to 2 which is a half times 8 over 3 and that one will give us 4 over 3.